This is Earl Amin with the 2024 Site Podcast, where CEOs of small to global companies share their insights. It is six questions in nine minutes because top CEOs know how to listen and be concise. So let's get to it. First of all, welcome. And in just a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Hello, Earl. My name is Katie Ray Jones. I'm the CEO of the National Domestic Violence Hotline. Outstanding. That's clearly stated. We know what you do. So tell me, Katie, what's the best thing about being the CEO of your company? I think I'm so honored to serve as the CEO of the National Domestic Violence Hotline because it's an organization that is changing lives every single day. Um, and to be a part of something that has such immediate and long-term impact on individuals and families is incredibly rewarding. I'm sure it is. So I hear from other CEOs, and I'm sure you have as well, that leading a team and being able to see the road ahead can be a challenge. What are your thoughts? I think it's absolutely true that you're only as good as the team around you. Um, and so ensuring that you have the right people to not only um, enhance the best of you, but complement the areas that maybe aren't your best is incredibly important so that your team can help you in looking for the, the what's ahead of you, what to forecast for the future. And then if your team is stuck in the weeds, then it's about do they have the right teams around them um, to really ensure that we can be high performing all the time, uh, especially in the midst of a pandemic. It's incredibly important that you have uh, high performing people all the time. Indeed and agreed. So tell me what specific piece of insight do you want to share with other CEOs? You know, I think for me, um, I, I grew up in a company, um, had amazing leaders around me who taught me various things along my journey to CEO. And I hope that's what I continue to give uh, in my role as CEO, recognizing that the organization is only as good as, as the people around me. And so it, how incredibly important it is to continue to invest in their skills, talents, and passions of the team around me uh, to ensure that we can thrive and flourish together. I never wanna lose sight of, of the organization and what the blood, sweat, and tears we put into it to get where it's at, mm -hmm. to make sure that there are people waiting in the wings behind me um, and next to me, ready to step in should I not be there. Well done, well done. So in your journey, what other successful CEOs like yourself, your contemporaries, would you like to acknowledge or give a shout out to and should be on my podcast? Now, I had the amazing privilege to work in a local nonprofit very early on in my career called South Bay Community Services in San Diego County. And the CEO of that organization is Catherine Limbo, who has been there an incredibly long time, but never lost the passion and desire to continue to innovate services, to be responsive to the needs of the community members, and to continue to recognize that the organization was never stagnant. It was always a microcosm of the community. And I'm incredibly grateful for all the lessons she taught me along the way, even the ones that were incredibly hard for me to hear at the time. Yes. Okay, well said, well said. So uh, for the final question, how do you celebrate a win? You know, I think it's so easy in the role of CEO to look at what still needs to be done. Uh, we may not be looking at what to celebrate in success. So we're really intentional at the National Domestic Violence Hotline. In our weekly leadership meeting, every single person shares a win or success from the last week, whether it's personal or professional, in order for us to really uplift and not lose sight of all the good things that are happening, even in the most challenging times. Now, how we celebrate can look a little different. It could be a virtual high five when we're in a Zoom meeting and we're eagerly awaiting to uh, rejoin for some happy hour celebrations. We've got a lot to celebrate from the last year. Indeed, indeed. No, no doubt that you do. Uh, well, Katie, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you on. How can people find you? Um, anyone who's interested in learning more about the National Domestic Violence Hotline can visit our website at thehotline.org. Outstanding. This is Earl Amin with the 2024 Site Podcast. For more insights, go to LinkedIn and search for The Gray Owl Company. 
Katie, thank you so very much. Thank you, Earl.